Everybody, thanks for coming back to Power Mods. Today, I want to get these A arms installed. Now, these are from Alternative Impact. They're Chrome Molly. They're very lightweight, a little narrower in stance than the originals. So these are about 39 and a half inch key stance total. So we're going to put these on. I need to press in the little ball joints here. I got these little oilless bushings here from Eman, Custom Sign and Graphics on eBay. But these are what you want because those plastic ones, they just sort of wear out. And these, these are wow, these are looking pretty trick. So that's what we're gonna do today. Gotta get the A arms on. Let's get her done. So this is the pile. This is where all the junk sort of seems to go and then more junk gets taken out. <laughs> so I'm gonna need this little ball joint. Gotta take that ball joint out of there as well. So I'm gonna pop it out. I'm gonna see what kind of condition it's in. We gotta just rock and roll and get this stuff done. <laughs> Quite a lot heavier than the chrome molly one. There we go. Yeah, that one's done. Now All that I used to pry that out with, or to press it out with, was this old piece of exhaust pipe that was sort of spread out a little bit. Works very well, pretty quick. Now I'm gonna press those ball joints back in here, but in order to do that a little easier, I'm just gonna heat up this little mounting area. I've got the ball joint outside in the snow, so one cold part going into a warm part. Should be a little bit of extra room in there. Should go in pretty easy. Look at that. I just literally pushed that right in. That was pretty darn easy. Just put on my insert clip here. That's it. There we go. These are the spindles off my rev. Now I need to have it set up like the summit. The summit's got a narrow arm. That way you can offset your ski. That's what I want to do. So I'm just going to press out the, these little bushings on either side. I'm going to cut these off with a saw. I've got my summit arms. That way you don't have to go out and buy new ones.
highly recommend wearing a mask when you do that. I just don't have one. All right, there we go. Press those bushings in. Let's get this on. All right, there we go. Nice shortened stance now. We'll be able to move our ski to the inside of the sled. We'll probably get about a 38 inch ski stance. That'd be awesome. Okay. All right, so I've got my alternative impact A arm. Got these nice little oilless bushings here. This is the original bushing that goes inside there. So let me just, let me see who that is. Rejean Drouin has just subscribed. One of these just slip up under here. Now I'm just going to leave these loose. I'm not going to tighten them up right now. Put everything on first. directional kind of end on it. Help you line up your, your nut. So it gets in here. Ah. Let the screwdriver go. I had to use a big long bolt because I found that one of my A-arm bolts was stripped. So that's just going to have to be. Now I just need to install, is there a castle nut on there? Grab that castle nut please. Right, right beside you there. Now I just have to install leg. Now there's a washer that goes on the end of this joint here and it's kind of got a recessed area that allows it to torque it up a little bit. Gotta keep that in mind. So I've got good movement in here. These are tightened up. I'm going to put the cotter pins through here. When I get the other side done, I'll set up the ski alignment, and that's going to be in another video. So I got to thank you guys for coming today. Thanks for watching Power Mods. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you like. Check us out on Facebook. And don't forget to check out firstplaceparts.com. They have all kinds of parts that you need to modify your sled. Thanks for watching.